from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. I'm so excited to be here again. This is an amazing opportunity uh, as of yesterday. Did y'all see the show yesterday, y'all? Yeah. Online was going crazy. Social media was going crazy. People saying that uh, I'm doing a pretty good job. I, pre yeah. I wish I could stay longer, but I got, I got to go get my movie star on, y'all. I got to go make uh, an action movie in Dubai, so I only can be with you for so long because Wendy is coming back. I, she told me. He was online, you lying, nah, -uh, nah, No, she told me, she said, don't get too comfortable. <laughs> no, it's Black History Month, but you got to get back on, you got. She, she's coming back. So again, we sending her nothing but well wishes, love, and positive energy <laughs> to her and hers. Uh, and like, like my mama said, don't be up here getting too messy, but it's time for Hot Topics. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Stay hydrated for these Hot Topics. Y'all I love the energy in here, y'all. And that's, that's the thing, that's the thing I wanna talk about because, you know, online, cause you know, I, I keeps it all the way real. I'm all the way 100 with it. So I went on social media, I'm talking back to people. What you say, I'm saying something too. You say, I'm talking back, I'm, I'm pressing, I'm doing all of this. And a lot of people were talking about how, how much fun we were having and the audience had great energy, but they were like, Nick, you just too loud. Why are you so loud? Calm down, I'm trying to have my breakfast. You screaming at the oatmeal. <laughs> Heard all that, but you know I'm loud because I'm excited and I'm going to be being loud. So I'm get up here, start cheering. Rah, rah, sis, boom, bah. I'm going the black man too loud for y'all, huh? <laughs> nah, but we go, we go definitely, uh, I'm loud, I'm a loud person, I'm sorry. Passion. Is that, is that a, Norman, is that a problem? No. You be you. You be you. That, Norman loud? <laughs> Norman told me to be me. <laughs> what y'all thought I was gonna do, come out here and start whispering, welcome to the Wendy Williams. No, we gotta have that energy, that's we are loud people, we dress loud, y'all see these loud shoes? Yes! It's funny, my, my, my Ruby Slippers, you know, one of my best, best friends and funny comedians in the game, he, he saw me in some shoes like this one time. He said, man, what's up with them shoes? You click your heels three times, you end up back at Mariah house? Like, oh, all right. He's gonna make the Mariah jokes on my Ruby Red Slippers. It's... Nah, but uh, speaking of friends, I talked about this yesterday, and speaking of comedy, last night I was hanging out with my little brother, Pete Davidson. We was, in, we was in Brooklyn. He wanted to be here, but as you, you can look, I, I, was, I, was, uh, I, I was feeling myself last night. Uh, had a little greenery. I was, uh, hey, it's for my lupus, uh, for my lupus, my lupus. I got a, I got a card. Uh, 
But that's the Pete. Pete, uh, he got he got people, you know, and that he, he has to listen to that's representing him. And they said it might not be the smartest thing for him and I to get up here and start talking because we bound to say anything. I got people too. I just don't listen to them. I just. <laughs> Uh, but I told Pete, you know, we was having some good conversations. We was talking about all of the things that Kate Beckinsale and all. We, we, was, we was having cougar conversations. Because I, 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 I taught that young boy well. I'm going to tell you because I'm the one, I'm, I am, I'm going to take credit for it. I'm the one that told him, get you an older woman, man. I said that. Lee. Leave them little pop stars and alone. An older woman know what she wants. She don't play no games. She's serious about it. That's what I'm talking about. Get you somebody older. Them little pop stars, they don't know. They getting Japanese menus tattooed on their backs and from the suit she wear. Uh, that, I'm, I'm joking, but that is Ariana Grande's hand. And I think that's after she even tried to fix it. She, she had, you know, uh, a tattoo. It was supposed to say seven rings for her is doing so well in Japan and she wanted it and it actually ended up saying tiny barbecue. Um, <laughs> and that's, that, that's some young girl stuff. That day, you know, uh, uh, you know, older women don't like tiny barbecue. They like chitlins and grits. And... <laughs> you ever think about get, getting grits tattooed on you? Get grits right on the thigh, just. <laughs> but no, I, I, I feel your pain, Ariana, too. I feel your pain. Because I, I got a Japanese tattoo right there, too. I got, I said, that say California rolls. That's, <laughs> I, made the, I made the same mistake. So I told, but I, I told, uh, and everybody, speaking, everybody knows, yes, I did at one point get Mariah tattooed all on my back, so. But that was for love. That was love right there. And I, people said, did you get it covered up? No, I just added to it. I just <laughs> put some more on there. Put Jesus next to Mariah, my kids. <laughs> now it's like a whole family picture back there. Uh, and that's, and I, I, but you gotta, you gotta get you an older woman. That's what I was telling. Remember we was talking about that yesterday. My top three, the, yeah, number one, Mariah. Yeah. Num <laughs> the amazing mother, superstar singer. Number two, Halle Berry. I'm still working on it. I still got some, I still got some more tattoo space, right? <laughs> and then that was number three yesterday, I heard she out there dating Naomi. I, 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 Naomi Campbell. <laughs> them, that's, this, that's what you want. Them is women. Don't none of them got sushi tattoos. <laughs> well, who? I, I don't know her. That? <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke for the lambs. Shout out to the lambs. <laughs> I'm playing though, but in, in, in all seriousness, I'm even. I'm gonna stop using the word older woman. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop. That's not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I want some mature. Season. Season. Put a little sprinkle on it. Season. You know what I'm saying? V vintage vagina. <laughs> I'm, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, mama. I'm sorry, mama. My mama, I'm gonna have to, I'm sorry, I, didn't, I, didn't, I forgot his live TV, I'm sorry. But that's what I like in my life, I'm sorry, mama. I like a couple of your friends, mama. Miss, I'm just saying. Miss Gertrude got a lot of church booty, I'm just saying, that's what I like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Only thing I'm just saying, I was trying to make a point. I was telling Pete, man, these young girls are how you. I'm single. I, I can't deal with all that. It's, it's too much. Young girls, they they coming out with the, with their phone. They want to Snapchat you and FaceTime and sexting. I got an Android. I don't know how to work all that. Take a long. You sending me pictures? It's disappearing. I don't know how to. I ain't got enough time. G girl, send me a Polaroid. I want, I want something, something I can shake and blow on. Put it on the refrigerator. Show my son. 
That your pops was cold back in the day with the cougars. That's what I'm telling you, these young girls, they be like, oh, I'm about the bag, and give me a bag. We gonna get to the bag, buy me a bag, and no, I want a woman with a pocketbook. <laughs> you know, a, a mature woman got a pocketbook. She ain't got no bag. A pocketbook with all the necessities in it. <laughs> she, got, she got everything you need, church mints. You know what I mean, first aid kits, ointment a mature, seasoned woman. So all the cougars call me, DM me, or whatever they do now. <laughs> Woo. I know I'm loud and just say anything. I apologize. <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness, getting to probably the most hot topic, and I was on, I was online, I was in there commenting on the Shade Room and Wendy Show, all of this about this. When this went down yesterday, I was like, I have to talk about this tomorrow. Ooh. Liam Neeson got himself into a lot of trouble yesterday. He was out promoting his new movie, which is about seeking revenge, it's, uh, you know, uh, and Liam told a story about wanting to seek revenge in real life, and he was oversharing um, and, and about a, a close friend who was raped, which is probably the most horrendous thing that can happen to anyone in this world. And, and I feel his anger and his pain, and, uh, but then it was like, because she was raped by a black man, it went to a different direction. And, he started saying some things that he probably, matter of fact, just take, take, let's listen to it so I can let him speak for himself before I get in all that to, we don't listen. This is I asked, did, they, did she know who it was? No. What color were they? She said it was a black person. I went up and down areas with a cush, hoping I'd be approached by somebody. I'm ashamed to say that. And I did it for maybe a week, hoping some black bastard would come out of a pub and have a go at me about something, you know, so that I could kill him. Black bastard! Who you, who you call it? See, he, 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 he trying to be the next Mel Gibson out here. He just, look, look, look. okay, I'm gonna just say this because we, we throw this stuff around and I, I understand his, his anger, but there's no reason to want to kill someone just based off of the color of the race. And, and the, the fact, the thing, the thing that when we're dealing with racism, the, the idea that, you know, he, he was angry about the rape, as we all should be. Uh, but then the next question that he asked is, what color was he? Uh, I don't know if he was just trying to find a description, uh, what, you know, because colors shouldn't matter. We're not crayons, you know, like, it's, it's... But, you know, I see where he was, he was going with it, but I think he just really think he's the character from Taken. Like, he said he, went, he said he went out for a week looking for black people. You couldn't find no black people? He said, he said he went to the pub. First of all, black people don't go to pubs. We don't go to the pub, we go to the club, okay? <laughs> See, you out there looking at pubs, if you would've went to Magic City or Starlets or something, you would've found, that's where we all over there hanging. But you know what, Liam, you looking for the black person? You found them, I'm right here. Since you want, I want, I want all the smoke, I'll take that thing. And, and I think he just, it was oversharing because even the term racism and, and you go a little bit too far with just, we always throw that word out there, oh, that's racism. Racism is about systemic oppression. Racism is about power. This is just ignorance <laughs> at the end of the day. Um, and I think he's aware of that and I think he probably felt you know, he needed to clean it up. So this morning, like as we speak just a few minutes ago, he actually went on Good Morning America uh, to try to clean up the mess, and let's take a look. Would you have had the same reaction if your friend had said it was a white man? Would you want her to go oh, out definitely. and kill him? If she just said an Irish, 
or a Scot or a Brit mm -hmm. or a Lithuanian, I would I know I would have had the same effect. Do you think you actually would have done if if a, if a yes. innocent black man yes. who had nothing to do? Yeah, I know. I th that that was my feeling that I did want to lash out. Yes, I did seek help. Uh, I went to a priest. I heard my confession. I'm, I was reared a Catholic, and believe it or not, power walking. Power walking. Yeah, two hours every day. Oh, you just gonna walk the racism off. You just. Got you. Look. Just, oh, yeah, mama, I'm gonna get all this bigotry out of me. About two more minutes on, on my racial, on my Fitbit. You ain't walk racism off. See, how, power walking, you just gonna walk it out, huh? I didn't. I, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's funny when you see it, but I th really think he, he think he the guy in the movie. I have some very special racist skills. <laughs> Liam, I, I want to fix this for you, brother, because I actually really don't, I don't think he's racist. I just think he a little, ugh. <laughs> like that's, he just, it's, it's that sociopath behavior where he think he's the guy in the movie. Like you ain't, you gonna walk up on some people in Newark, New Jersey, ain't gonna be no stunt coordinators. <laughs> they gonna get to. It's gonna be a whole, I got a whole lot of black people you can find, but you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna fix this because I'm a, I'm a fan of the Taken movies and I'm a fan of Schindler's List, all of that. And I, I, I'm gonna fix it. I got a way to fix it, y'all. We gonna do it. Liam Neeson, I challenge you to a celebrity boxing match. <laughs> and you go down. Let's get to it. And we, and we gonna donate all the money to the NAACP. And <laughs> you get all that anger up out you, I'll take that fade. We gonna get, that, that'll be, you, it'll be, it's a, it's a clean fight. We gonna put on the gloves, you know, since, and we, I think it'll work, right? Y'all think I can take them? I'm about to go do this movie in Dubai. I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna get to it. And I guess, you know, go see his movie this weekend. <laughs> said it's a dark comedy. Why well, I got to be a dark comedy? Huh? <laughs> a dark comedy? And speaking of people who can fight, Cardi B is back in the news. <laughs> she will hit you with one of them red bottoms real quick. Uh, she also had uh, <laughs> an interview with Good Morning America yesterday, and she was talking about her, her dating life, you know, when her and Offset was upset. Uh, they, you know, they split for a minute and Cardi has some, some interesting things to say. Take a look. You don't know nowadays who want you for you. Sometimes I feel like people want me for Cardi B. Soon as I said I did a video that I'm, I'm not with this guy anymore, I got all these male <laughs> celebs in my DMs like, yeah, let's go to dinner, I'm in LA. You wanna go to dinner with me, Cardi B? But famous dudes are DMing you about dates. Oh, yes, my, and it's okay. like, bro. Okay. I'm sorry, it was me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Told you I'm single. What am I supposed to do? I was trying to be first. I was trying to get a head start. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just playing. I don't even know how to DM. I'm gonna be honest. I don't do the DM thing. I don't know how to slide into the DM. I got a bad hip. I can't slide. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know how it works. But I, I do, because I see I'm online and stuff like that. It seems like that's a weird concept, even. That, this is a married woman. You don't just go jump. Like, they working through their things, but you don't just go slide. That's all, especially when your husband is offset. <laughs> when his name, he got, he got face tattoos. <laughs> he go, he, it's going to be some repercussions for sliding into his woman's DM. And y'all saw Offset is, is a gangster. In the middle of one of Cardi's shows, he said, uh, Damn all that, I'm trying to get my woman back. That's like, that's, that's love right there. So I'm glad to hear, they said they're working it out now. They got a beautiful baby culture, like. <laughs> salute to that strong love right there. I love all of that. Um, and I, I, I won't be sliding into no more DMs. <laughs> Sorry. And the ratings are in. I'm so proud of America right now. Uh, I have to say this, the Super Bowl was a sleeper bowl. Yeah. 
This year's Super Bowl was the lowest rated Super Bowl in 10 years. Now, uh, uh, this, a lot of people can say it's for many different reasons. People tired of Tom Brady winning, but... I mean, no, I'm gonna keep it up. I love Tom Brady, love keep on winning. I honestly believe that we were on the right side of history this time. We said we are gonna step back and make a statement, a peaceful protest for my brother Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> to show that, yeah, a peaceful protest. And that's a salute to the veterans, a salute to law enforcement. And, and honestly, the fact that here in America, we can peacefully protest without punishment. That's what it's all about. There, it shouldn't be about any kind of banning someone or, or blackballing or any of that type of stuff because I know this brother personally. It's a close friend of mine, and he did it and is doing it for all the right reasons. And speaking of the right reasons, Today is uh, a special day. It would have been Trayvon Martin's 24th birthday today. And that right there is the reason why my brother Colin Kaepernick was taking that knee, and I'm gonna continue. We gonna all take the knee. NFL, pay attention. We know that was a giant display of capitalism. You need them ratings up. Give my man Colin a job. I wanna see him throw that football again. Bring, bring Janet Jackson back. Let her control come out there, and and I'ma pull my nipples out this time. And I do the the drum line and everything. We gonna make it happen. We gonna keep getting loud. That was hot topic. Keenan Thompson is up next. My friend is here. Grab a snack. Come on back. Y'all.